Okay, the problem at this is a uh, G8. Uh, problem asks us to find the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of a function. And the hint makes an observation that graphs can be written as level sets. And the reason that matters is because level sets are always perpendicular to gradient vectors. And so, of course, we're going to want to find a, a normal vector for this tangent plane. So it'd be kind of nice to find um, uh, a function whose gradient would give us that, that normal. So, okay, so what we've got is we're looking at the graph of f. Uh, let's see. Um, we've got f of x, y is x squared y uh, minus y e to the x. And that graph has the following equation. The equation is z equals x squared y minus y e to the x. Right? Now this equation, this is equivalent to um, z minus x squared y uh, minus, oh excuse me, plus y e to the x equals zero. And note that this is a level set of this function that I'm going to call g. All right, so I have this new function now, g of x comma y comma z. This is g is a function of three variables, uh, and it's this z minus x squared y plus y e to the x. This is a function, one of whose level sets is the graph of the function that I was given in the first place. Okay. So I can restate the problem now to I want to find, I've got some surface here. And I'm at some particular point, I want to find uh, the equation of the tangent plane, fine, there's a tangent plane, and the way I find the equation of a tangent plane is I find a normal vector, and that normal vector of course is perpendicular to the plane, therefore it's perpendicular to the surface, this surface is a level set Therefore, I can use as the normal vector the gradient of that function g whose level set we're looking at. Does that make sense? Is everybody happy with this? Okay, so I'm going to find my normal vector by computing a gradient of this function. Now, critically, 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 this function is not the same as that function that we were given. This is a function of two variables. This is a function of three variables. And furthermore, they're different functions. This has got a z in it. This doesn't. The minus signs are different also. But anyway, they're different functions. And so you have to first do this chapter two kind of deal where you reinterpret a graph as a level set and you make sure to understand the difference between those two things. Um, okay, so now it's just algebra. Let's see the gradient of g. That can just write that down. Let's see, x partial uh, is negative 2xy plus y e to the x. Let's see, the y partial is negative x squared plus e to the x, and the z partial is 1. So this is a general formula for my gradient. That means that um, the gradient, of course, I really only want to compute the gradient at that point. I ran out of space over there. So the gradient of g at the point in question, well, let's see, now we've got to be careful. We're looking above the point 1 comma negative 1. That means that this point here is 1 comma negative 1 comma, and now I've got to figure out what's the value of z that corresponds to this x and this y. So, all right, a little arithmetic here. you got to, okay, fine. Um, uh, z is going to be, um, we're not going to need it for the algebra, but just for the sake of completeness. Um, See, x is 1, y is negative 1, so it's negative 1 plus e. So it's e minus 1. So I want to compute. I want to find what this gradient is at that point, that point here. And that's just, well, negative 2x. So we're going to have 2 plus e, and then uh, negative 1 plus e and 1. So there's our normal vector. 
So that's your um, that's your a, that's your b, that's your c in your equation, and your equation is going to be so a x plus b y plus c z equals, and then you know whatever your whatever the d ends up being. Everybody happy? A little bit of creativity that goes in this problem. You got to figure out. You know, the hint does go a long way toward it, but you you have to admit, you know decide to take the function that's given and reinterpret and decide. You know, if that's not really the function that relates to the problem as phrased in the most natural way, we really want this other function because it's the function whose gradient can be interpreted as a normal vector, etc. Okay.